Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another doll unboxing. Today, we've got the first of our Wicked dolls that showed up in stores around me, and that is the Glinda at Shiz University doll. This is, of course, the first of the Ariana dolls that I'll be looking at, and she is very cute. I picked her up at my Walmart today in stores. There is still not an online listing for her or the corresponding Alphaba that's also at the Shiz University outfit. But she looks great. And she was $24.99. Didn't have any problem taking her out or anything like that. And there were like four or five of them there on the shelf. But they all looked pretty similar. So we're gonna take a look at the packaging and we are going to get her out of the box. So, First, we have got our pretty standard packaging that looks like we've got them both. Here she is in her entirety right there. And of course, we've got the back of the box, little description. Um, and then of course, there is the UPC and the item number in case you're trying to find her in stores. I've really only seen this pop up at Walmart so far. She might be a Walmart exclusive, but I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and get her out of this big reflective bubble. Very easy like that. And she looks great. Like, I'm not, I'm not mad at this. I love her shoes. Like the shoe mold is on fire. So we are going to get her out real quick. She is articulated, which is an important thing when I'm looking at movie dolls, because most of the time they wind up being very difficult to color match. And I'm always like, well, poopy. What am I gonna do now? So, Ariana, though, I think will wind up being an okay color match for a couple of different dolls. We'll check out her made-to-move options here in the, uh, in the video. We've got some accessories. A very cute Glinda bag. So not only does it open, the strap also moves. Very cute. We love a bag that actually does what it's supposed to. We have got a pair of books that I wish were separate, but they are not. The strap does come off if you just want to use these as shelf decorations, but that's a really cool feature. And then I think that's all of her. Oh, no, I'm missing one right here behind her arm. There we go. Now we're good. Okay. So here she is out of the box. Oh, this material actually feels better than I thought it was going to. Uh, the dress is kind of cute. There are, I would say, four different types of materials going into the way the dress is made. It is all one piece. Um, but as we can see, we've got little butterfly cutouts that are sewn in. Of course, we've got ruffs here at the wrist and the collar as well. She's got a pretty simple hairstyle. I'm gonna get these staples out of her head before I forget. Okay, pretty simple. It's a little twist roll that's just secured back there. Um, pretty soft hair, really. I would say this is probably Saran, but I can't tell hair. So please don't ask me in the comments. I'm gonna give you my best guess, but I have been wrong before. I think Mattel is going away from poly hair on uh, 
dolls that aren't just strictly playline. But she looks great to me. And that's before any kind of brush out like I'm going to give her right now. I like to just use a nice, simple uh, metal brush or metal comb just to kind of comb out that box hairness. Just so that way she can go just like that. Um, but no obvious bald spots. She seems really good, really well rooted. Um, of course, this is Ariana as a blonde. And she looks pretty good. I'm thinking that these have Disney princess feet. But I'm not sure. These might have their own body type. Uh, we're going to take a look at it. But it feels almost like how the adults in um, the Descendants dolls, that body type. Because she's not very snatched right now. But let's take a look. We're going to take a quick look. We're going to see how well this outfit is actually constructed on the inside. And then we're also going to check out the body type. So, as we can see... We've got a tight fit there on the sleeves. Um, so yes, she is a little bit uh, boxy, but I should also say that's more naturally proportioned. She does have new hand molds, very lifelike. One of them is gripped like that. Of course, Ariana is a 2024 mold. And this is a 2024 body. So it is a different body. So that's interesting. Um, but when in doubt, we shall compare against some of the known players in the Mattel game. And that is our uh, Disney Princess shoes. So let's see. Uh, Trying to find two that match. Eh, that's fine. These are the same mold, but not the same color. Uh, so we've got some Tiana shoes. Let's see if these fit on her. Okay, no. So these are even wider. So that's a bit of a bummer. So these are... Let's see what we could put on. Um, I've got some Rainbow High shoes we're going to take a look at. So, nice Rainbow High boots. Let's see if these fix. They look almost like... Okay, so these perfectly fit Rainbow High. Uh, which is kind of shocking, but also good news. Because this means you've got a Barbie body that fits Rainbow High shoes, I guess. Um, that does not necessarily mean that these shoes will fit a Rainbow High body. But let me see if I can grab one that's not already wearing hard-to-take-off shoes. Uh, so I've got an extra doll body right here. Again, same shoes. They fit. Let's try our shiz shoes. Okay. Just in case. Okay. So, she does fit. It's not as perfect but it does go on. So that's a little bit weird that Mattel decided to switch up the shoes kind of that drastically. Um, but again, that is kind of good news because it means that we've got different shoe options for Ariana. But a little bit of a bummer because that means that our tall dolls and our curvy dolls won't be able to wear those shoes. But let's let's double check. So we've got a tall Lena. Yeah, that is a huge difference in foot size. 
Like, these tall dolls generally fit the Disney Princess foot mold, but this is kind of wild that they are so big. Again, that was just a, a tall looks, Lena. Uh, so, really interesting. I don't know why Mattel is making so many foot molds, but they are. Like, because that's, if we think about it, there's the Disney Princess shoe, there's Tall Curvy, there's Petite Original, and then there's Model Muse, and now this one. So this is like the fifth, um, the fifth doll shoe that we've actually gotten. But interesting, because I would have thought if anything, these would be on like Descendants bodies and not brand new, but they are. Um, so let's take a look at the construction. So as we can see, the seams inside are pretty nice. They're laid flat, except for the sleeves, and that's okay, because they're gonna go flat on the other side. Um, the material is a little poly, but it's not too bad. It's a heavy poly, and this is printed on the fabric. It's not uh, decals or anything. It would be great if this was embroidered, these details, but this is overall a pretty good dress. As you can see, there's a slight pattern to the bodice part of the pink. So you can see there's a little bit of white in there around the butterflies, and they are little butterflies. So very cute. That pattern does continue around the back, but not on the sleeves, which are more of a uh, more of like a tool, but surprisingly like a heavy tool because it's got just that right amount of uh, transparency to where you're like, oh yeah, those are sleeves, but it's not bad. Like overall, I'm kind of impressed with this being a $25 doll. Um, I kind of thought the quality would be a little bit worse, but honestly, like I was kind of prepared just because it was kind of cute, and I was like, okay, that'll that'll be fine. Even if it's a little bad, it'll be fine. Um, but the outfit has actually kind of lived up to what I expected from it. It looks honestly better than the $40 deluxe doll in her big pink outfit. Which is kind of why I was like, well, let's start with this one. But she's very cute. I'm a little bummed they didn't give her like a training wand. But she's very cute. She does not come with one of the stands. She just comes like this. I'm going to tilt her back so we can see if she stands up on her own. So she does stand, like she's not leaning back against the shelf right now. So that's good. Uh, let's see how this looks with her, uh, her hair. We're of course gonna tuck that headband underneath her curl, just so it's a little more secured. It doesn't look bad. And honestly, the screening on this is not pixelated at all. Like, she looks good. Um, so overall, I like her. I would have appreciated it if she was just a little bit more articulated. Like, if they'd given her, um, like, double articulated knees, because most of these characters are wearing skirts anyway. I think that would have been really cool. But she's very cute. And I like that this bag is not just, like, useless. Uh, but, and again, I love that the books have this little removable binding. So that's adorable. I don't think the books fit in the purse, though. I know they won't fit in there with it closed. But let's see if they'll fit in there with it open. Not really. See, it knocks the... Uh, the strap out when we do that. So, 
A little bummer, but that's okay. So now that we've seen everything that the doll has to offer, and we've noticed a little bit more about the shoe game, which if you've got Rambo high shoes, that's not really a problem. You've got extra shoes for this body for all kinds of restyles. Not to mention she's a little bit more on the um, a little bit closer in scale to the Rambo High doll as far as her torso goes. Like that shape is pretty close to the shape of these doll bodies. So let's think about skin tone matches. I think she's going to be Akira. Uh, BMR Kira, which is this one, which is a little bit more yellow than uh, is actually readily available. But mm, no, okay, she's not. That's fine. That's actually good news. Uh, let's try a redhead. Is she going to be too pink? Not bad, this is a possibility with our Heidi. Uh, let's see, Lena, maybe? Mm. Not perfect, she's a little tan. Let's try our newest Barbie. She's a little bit more pale. Hmm. Um, about half a shade too dark. But let's see. So our other readily available made to move is the tennis player made to move. She's going to be too light, as you can see. So while there are going to be a couple of different options, it's not as easy to find a match for her, which ugh, I kind of hate that she's not an easy to match doll, but she's not bad on this one and she's not as expensive as some of the other looks dolls. But even when you compare their faces together, she looks a lot darker. But the bodies don't look as off. But again, that's only if you want to make her made to move. Um, I might not make her a made to move doll because I won't be able to make Alphaba a made to move. But generally, I think that's going to be your best option. She is very pretty. I love the shade of blonde that they choose. It's like honey blonde. Um, and again, even from the back, it doesn't look bad. There's a couple of stray, st stray threads and things like that, but it's fine. Um, if your cuffs don't lay right, just take like a uh, pen or something and kind of shove that uh, cuff back under. And that's the way it, that's why it's laying up like straight instead of, uh, instead of down like that. So not bad overall for $24 doll from Mattel. Um, so the highlights are that her face in person does not look as bad as some of the, uh, pictures made her seem like the eyebrows were way too high in some of the pictures I've seen, but she's not that bad. Like you don't notice it. It might be eyebrow blindness, but she looks cute, I think. And I'm not even a huge Ariana stan, but overall, I love the outfit. It's cute. It does what it needs to do. Hopefully it's reflective of what actually shows up in the movie. I love this bag because even without any kind of repaint or anything, you can make this into just like a cute bag for Barbie. 
and I love the books. These might wind up in my Monster High display eventually, I'm not sure, but very cute. The cons? The feet. Um, I could have lived with them being Disney princess size, because Disney princess size still fits tall and curvy, and I love those shoes. So that's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. I think they did that because they wanted to design entirely new bodies so they could get away with the hand molds and things like that. But overall, she's very cute. Now this doll doesn't really have any jewelry. She has her headband, she has her purse, she's got her shoes and her books, and that is it. So the bulk of the cost of this doll is the doll itself. I would say, based on the fact that uh, this doll is one, a likeness doll, and two, with uh, nine points of articulation, she's worth probably 15 without anything else, without the dress, without anything else like that. Um, just the doll on the body is probably worth 15 uh, When you add in the fact that the dress is pretty well constructed of pretty good materials, that would add in, that's probably at least a $5 dress, so we're looking at $25 already. So that extra $5 is your headband, your um, purse, the books, and the shoes. And honestly, at about $1.25 a piece, that seems perfect. So I think this doll is pretty well-priced for the market right now. Like, yes, I would have preferred her to come with a little bit more, especially if they're going to give us plastic accessories. I would have liked some earrings, something like that, some bracelets. Um, but she looks really good for what she is. And it's a great face for people to steal for the custom Marianas. Goodness, it's been a long day, sorry. Um, and so I love the fact that the butterflies are sewn on. It's giving Cinderella 2015, which is my favorite of the Disney live action animation uh, adaptations. So she's very cute. I'm here for it. So if you guys have any questions on this doll, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. I'm going to pick up some more Wicked dolls as they show up in stores. All right, y'all. Be good. Bye. P.S. So I did have a late night <laughs> revelation as I was trying to figure out what other shoe molds or foot molds that Mattel could have used. And it occurred to me that I had completely forgotten G3 Monster High. So G3 Monster High did have a different foot than the classic Monster High and is also made by Mattel. Completely forgot that. So I decided to dig out some of my Monster High shoes that I had still and they are a perfect fit. So just in case you're wondering what other kind of shoes will fit on there and what other kind of feet will fit into these, it is going to be your G3 Monster High Dolls also by Mattel. So I thought they were going to go the Disney Princess route. They actually went the Monster High route instead, but we've got a couple of great options. I'm thinking this will be great for Alphaba, but just a little postscript. I did actually post the video and then think about it as I was laying in bed and I'm gonna have to go back and edit that video and add this to it. So I hope this was helpful because I completely forgot to list the Monster High feet on the, uh, types of feet that uh, Mattel is producing. So again, right now, that is going to be the Disney dolls, the 
original petite, the curvy tall, the monster high, and then the uh, I guess that's it. It's just those four. Oh, model muse. So yes, so five different types of feet right now. Uh, with the new Rapunzel doll coming out soon, hopefully I'll get it this weekend, I don't know. Um, the question of whether or not they have a new foot type is going to be up in the air. But if that bothered you as much as it bothered me, I hope I've answered your question. And it is G3 Monster High feet. So you've got a lot of G3 Monster High shoes to work with which means you can also take these bodies and kind of make like human forms of the monster girls if you feel like it. All right, y'all, this time it's really. Be good and see you again soon, guys. Bye.